up guys welcome back to my channel it's me again jet one of the essential parts of running an online business be it a blog online shop content creator is a relevant image illustration or graphic that captures your audience today i'm going to give you the full rundown on why you need to use a royalty free image and the various sources that provide you free images online for commercial and personal use many of these images are free from copyright restrictions or licensed under creative commons public domain dedication this means that you can copy modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission. However, some photos may require attribution, and you have to adhere to their licenses before using any of their images. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome and feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. With that out of the way, let's dive into my top picks for free stock photos. Why you can't just Google an image? A mistake that most amateurs make is using a generic search engine to find a good image. While this may be a time saver, it will cost you in the long run. Not all images found online are free for use. Many of these images have been copyrighted by the creators and need their explicit permission before they can be used. Violating an image copyright is illegal and you are likely to be faced with fines. And that is why it is absolutely essential that you use only images that have their copyrights waived off and free for use. So where do you get them from? You can always pay for your images through websites such as iStock Photo, Shutterstock, and Big Stock Photos that sell high quality photos online. But for those who prefer to go the frugal route, there are dozens of websites that provide free pictures that you can use. There are different types of free images available online. And one of these is the public domain images. Works in a public domain are those whose intellectual property rights have expired, have been forfeited, or are inapplicable. A public domain image, therefore, is usually a copyright-free image that can be used for commercial and personal purposes. So here are a few websites that offer free public domain images. In no particular order, let's start with Pixabay, a good source for stunning free images and royalty-free stock photos and videos. Most of the pictures available are free for use and do not require an attribution or link back to the website. There are, however, links to paid photos also displayed on the site, just make sure that the picture you're downloading is not marked premium. Registered users can download images straight away. Unregistered users have to perform an additional step of entering a capture code before they can download the image onto their computer. All photos are released under Creative Commons. Number two, Pexels. Much like Pixabay, millions of photos and videos to choose from, Pexels provides high quality and completely free stock photos licensed under the Creative Commons Zero license. All photos are nicely tagged, searchable, and also easy to discover through their Discover pages. Next is Unsplash. It offers a large collection of free high resolution photos and has become one of the best sources for stock images. The Unsplash team combs through new submissions and features the very best photos on their website. All photos are released for free under the Unsplash license. Next is Stocksnap.io. It has a large selection of beautiful free stock photos in high resolution images. The site also has a very handy search feature, making it easy to browse through the thousands of images available. In addition, the site tracks views and downloads so you can find the most popular photos available. StockSnap adds hundreds of images on a daily basis and all photos are released under Creative Commons public domain, so no attribution required. Number five would be Burst. It's by Shopify. Burst is a resource from Shopify that provides free stock photos for entrepreneurs. Some photos are licensed under Creative Commons, while others fall under Shopify's own photo license. Burst was launched to help entrepreneurs make better products, websites, and marketing campaigns. Most of the pictures are original photos that were taken in-house and are themed around trending business niches. Everything from DIY beard oil to AliExpress LED sneakers, you can also find more general photographs as well. Next is Reshot. It's a massive library of hand-picked free stock photos you won't find elsewhere. Built for startups, freelancers, and makers who are sick of tacky stock photos, feel free to use commercially and editorially. No attribution required. Another one is Foodies Feed. Foodies Feed 
offers thousands of beautiful realistic free food pictures in high resolution. It's the perfect stock photo site for food bloggers. Gratisography. Gratisography offers free high resolution pictures you can use on your personal and commercial projects. New awesome pictures are added weekly and are free of copyright restrictions. All pictures are captured by Ryan McGuire of Bell's Design. Freestocks.org. It offers a wide range of high quality photos all released under Creative Commons of CC0. Picography contains beautiful free stock photos submitted by Dave Mayer and various other photographers. All photos are released under Creative Commons. Next is Polka, and it's a collection of high-resolution photos provided by Jeffrey Betts. Jeffrey specializes in photos of workspaces and nature. All photos are released under Creative Commons. Big Jumbo is a collection of totally free photos for your commercial and personal works. New photos are added daily from a wide variety of categories, including abstract, fashion, nature, technology, and much more. Next is Kaboom. It offers a wide variety of high-quality free stock photos including abstract, city architecture, fashion, food, landscape, and more. Photos can be used for commercial purposes but cannot be sold or redistributed. Skitter Photo offers a wide variety of free stock photos and are released under Creative Commons. All pictures are authentic and created by Skitter Photos owners. Life of Pics is a resource created by the Leroy Creative Agency offering free high-resolution photos with no copyright restrictions. Little Visuals, all photos that have been posted were released under the Creative Commons license public domain dedication. Next would be the New Old Stock, vintage photos from the public archives free of known copyright restrictions. J Mantry, seven new photos released every Thursday under the Creative Commons license. J Mantry posts some really nice photos with a variety of different themes. Back by Getty Images, Pix Free provides a large collection of high-quality stock photos completely royalty-free. With easy search and frictionless downloading, Pix Free is an excellent resource for small businesses and web professionals looking for high-quality photos without the worry of licensing. ISO Republic offers a broad range of photos. They add new images every day for free under the CCO license. Style Stock offers free feminine stock photography for every woman entrepreneur. The collection is totally free for your commercial and personal works. And here are some additional resources. SXC.HU, Flickr, Morgue File, Photopin, and Folder. As you can see, there's a great number of fantastic resources for stock photography. These websites have become a blessing for designers, marketers, and bloggers. No need to rely on cheesy stock photos anymore. These are just a few of the most popular websites that offer free, high-quality images for use on your website. As mentioned earlier, unless an image is certified as public domain, you will have to verify its license before you download it. So have I missed any good free stock image websites? Where do you get your images from? I hope you've enjoyed and learned something from today's video. And if you find this helpful, please share your comments below. I love reading comments and replying to them. And feel free to subscribe, like, and share this on social media as well. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and gives me reasons to keep making these videos. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye!